Free lunch breaks, I'm working from home. home. Healthy shit, they get my age wrong. wrong. Plotting on how to get it all on my own. Uh, uh. Hard to trust niggas when you done seen it, seen all. it all. Mentally ill, ain't no medicine here. Uh -huh. One mistake could get you killed, had your shirt for sale. for sale. I don't get my hands dirty, I know niggas who will. Just one call and that's all I'm more bought for real. Yeah. I'm the GOAT, these rappers is on the road. On the road. You talking practice, I'm obviously in the folk. In the folk. I give you bars like baby mamas and coke. and coke. Come get these L's like referees in the dome. Gotta move around, these niggas moving, how we don't move around. Show me y'all, I don't want no part of your foolish mouth. Leave me y'all, I'm in the crack, the concrete is eyes. Ain't forgetting none of that shit, it's eye for eye. Sometimes you gotta get even, it ain't no other way. Cause when you took my nigga life, you took a piece of me. He got the teardrop tap, smack in my face. face. Full circle, don't mind when he get what he get. Just got the Word, my brother just beat his charge. Same shit that get you paid, gon' make you pay for some law. For the law. Nigga, you the only one stressing when you in court. Told you your problems are mine, and my problems are yours. Doja. Alright, I appreciate that. Gary <laughs> <laughs> yeah, will weigh y'all up back. That nigga needs it. Cut. <laughs> 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 Cut. <laughs> now y'all see why I tell a nigga just shut up on a regular basis, now. Cut. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> this nigga up here talking. You almost got to keep this part in, you know what I mean? Damn, no. <laughs> this, this, this Damn, never fucking with. <laughs> comic, comic relief. This nigga's just behind that going. Uh, I mean, y'all could edit it. <laughs> but, uh, but, but yeah, yeah you well, know, like I was saying, we, um. Oh, feeling played. Feeling played. Yeah. Like, we, 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 uh. We feel play easy, mm -hmm. and and yeah. it's like you got to do something. You got to do like, something. Yeah, everybody it's like you can't, you can't just feel play. All right, and that's real because, you know, I remember uh, you you going to get the pressure from your friends, definitely. too. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just looking. You might have a nigga come up to you, man, picture, I just seen 30 bikes with lights yeah, ride right. by, ride up Esplanade. Right. And then they do this. And so, yeah, they like. So now, what y'all? So, so y'all just gonna let him ride? I thought y'all was the bike nigga, right? And that's crazy, right, dog. Like you got thirty you, bikes. You gotta expect it. It's easy to duplicate it on is. face value. On face you know value. what I'm saying? It, it. You had to really ride with both groups, and you know to really tell differences. But just like like y'all say, if you got an Instagram page with a few followers. And a, a thousand dollars, you go get you some bikes, yeah. lights, and have a ride that week. And have you know a ride I mean? that week. So you had a lot of people doing right. that in the beginning. A lot of them ain't around no more, you know. So now it's it's kind of evening out to us. Um, Nola City Lights, right? Another group that's that's been doing it, you yeah, know. They've been doing it. And um, you got the new influx of people with money, mostly white people. That's Seeing what's going on and like you know what, I could, <laughs> I could, I could set this up tomorrow. Right, and like set it up, if, set it up. If that's what y'all want to do, I could get the property. Yeah, <laughs> right, like right. if that's what y'all want to do, you know, like that. But I'm, I'm not gonna front though. On a, on a, I kind of put blame on the consumer though, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I feel like in this city, as a consumer, sometimes we just jump on the hype train or the cheap train. The cheap train so, for so sure. So think about it. We was charging at one point forty dollars to bucks. come ride with us. Mm -hmm. If another cat who might not be as a good of a, the brand ain't right, there right, or whatever, right. charging twenty five, the consumer automatically in in this city. I can't speak on every nah, city. Nah, it's everywhere though. You see what I'm saying? It's but everywhere. but I, I feel like sometimes in other cities, I may see like people that I know from other cities. Mm -hmm. Once they connected to something. Or they attach, they say, man, that's the guys who started that. Yeah. I'm going to support that. Right, yeah, you understand right, what I'm right, saying? Right. Sometimes I know they are root for that. And they had people rooting for us as well right. who still kept it for like, cool. Yeah. Man, I'm going for it. Yeah, I don't care I if I got to yeah. pay an extra The $15. extra 15 right. Yeah. The 15 ain't going to break me. Yeah. Right. But you, you, I mean, I don't, damn. I hate, I hate doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to bring it back to the dope game. <laughs> if the nigga up the street... Got it for cheaper. Yeah. They going up the street. Straight up. And 
And I don't want to do that because it, it, it gives the impression that all we know is the dope game, which that ain't the case. That you, it's clear we know other shit. Right, but I mean, in life in general. But you got to know what life, you're getting, getting. A lot of people, they want the quality over quality, quantity. Quality over quantity. And then some people do want the quantity over and quality. And then, nine times out of ten, when you go get that, that, that cheap, you go the cheap route. And they still come back to and us. And you pissed off. Yeah, and then they end up coming you pissed right off. Yeah. You got to come back because of the product. Right. It ain't the same. Right. It, you you could go get the watered down version if you want, but eventually right. you're going to come back to get that that real high, so to speak. But, um, yeah, I know, um, I know, um, shit, I know you had to go, um, man, what the, the hell, the city sent you, the city sent you somewhere to learn about bike. Oh, yeah. We went to Spain. Spain. Yeah, they had I knew it was out of the country. I didn't just want to throw out no. Right, right, right. Yeah, so what happened was, you know, I've been heavily involved in, like, the whole, you know, safety and the infrastructure and all of that, you know, with the city. Cause right, right. They got a bunch of stuff they about to change. They about to add bike lanes. You know, they about to change, like, the whole infrastructure down here because of the growing amount of people riding bikes. Right. So... Getting looped into that, I, I caught a wave and caught a trip to Spain, which was, it was a place where they had redone their infrastructure in mm -hmm. like record time, and it was successful. So they said, we're going to go to Spain. And see how it worked. See how it worked, talk with the people who did it, you know, observe the lanes and how they, you know, basically what they did was they took how you driving and you pull over uh, and park. Mm -hmm. The parking would be right next to the driving lane, and then it would be the bike lane, mm. and then the sidewalk. So they flipped it instead, right, right, of, right. instead of you having a biker riding on side you, and then the car. That makes park. sense though. It make a lot of sense. So they flipped it, and they won't do that down here where they can do it at. And then they add like kind of like a guardrail type of system to where you can't, you know, if you swerve. Instead of hitting somebody riding a bike, you gonna hit a parked car. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the that's that's the model they want to bring down here, and they actually moving on it. You know they that's got, good. Yeah, they that's got good cause it. that does make sense to where you got the so you got the curb here, then you had a bike lane, and then you got cars parked yeah. parallel, yeah. and then the, the actual street where you're driving. Yeah, that that definitely makes more sense than having somebody trying to ride a bike between a parked car and right. Right. And, and 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 traffic because you got to worry about all type of stuff Way riding too like much. that. Motherfucker might be in the car and it's open his door, getting out the car, and you see your bike. You out of there. You out of there. And I didn't got hit like that. They call it car door. Car door. Yeah. Y'all got, got y'all y'all got y'all <laughs> on the term. Yeah, yeah. See, that's when you know shit moving. Dog. <laughs> Niggas get their <laughs> own terminology. Yeah, and shit. I got a car door. Yeah. And, and, and depending on how it happened, it could be a scratch, it could be a broken bone, or you could lose your life. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, because if you get caught doing into a car, another car, yeah, so it's, it's over for you. But people don't think of that. Think about that when they're getting out their cars. You know, nobody look for bikes. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right, so right. this helps in a lot of ways. It does. It does. it does. That makes sense, man. And it's good that, see, that's what I was talking about before when I said about. You know, y'all just doing shit the right way. It's not like, all right, we we young black entrepreneurs. We think along the lines of, yeah, I'm about to I'm about to go ahead on and get my money. I'm about to run my business accordingly. But when you take it over another step into being on city committees and and things like that to improve shit for the for the whole city, I mean that's opening a whole nother door, man. So that you know that's part of the the salute that I gave y'all earlier, just being at the forefront of, you know, wanting to, want, even wanting to have a desire to do that for everybody. Because, you know, it's, it's easy, you know, the simple mind, and I don't like calling people simple mind, and I'm going to take that back. <laughs> but, you know, normal, the, the regular average, everyday, Joe just, man, shit, I'm about to get my money and then, yeah, and, yeah, and we yeah, good. Yeah. But y'all taking a little steps, to make sure everybody good who who want participate in that lane, right. um, but shit, I mean, uh, we, I mean, uh, we we got so many. Uh, this nigga stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga doesn't doesn't care at all about the fact that we 
That's his in no pain. That's his in no pain. Entry door. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> shit, that's my nigga. Uh, it's so many, it's so many different fucking businesses y'all got. I, we ain't about to make this no three hour show. Right. But let's jump into um, into to, to the new venture, Culture Park, with with ball culture. Like, I mean, shit. You, I ain't gotta ask what made you want to do that, but shit, how you how you how you jumped off in it? Well, the bike started first, right? Right, right. And I'm before well before that, me and my uh, cousin Nat was already doing events, um, like at House of Blues, stuff mm-hmm. like that. But Shout I out to Nat. Yeah, shout out to Nat. I wasn't really trying to do the promoter event thing where you got to get a thousand people to pay $20 just to hit a lick, stuff like that. Something Those days, that's oversaturated. Yeah, that's oversaturated. So it's like, I mean, why not get a lounge or bar? You know, and at first we got the bar culture in mm-hmm. 2016, then it caught on fire three months in. It caught on fire. It caught on fire. It was the the uh the roofing company was putting some tar down to fix a, a leak we had on the second floor, and it caught on fire, and the whole second floor was was burnt down, Damn. and the roof caved in on us in the front on the on the bottom. We wasn't there though, but that's good. That's um, good. didn't know what was gonna happen. Nine months later, we was able to reopen. It it and the the, the thing about it is, bless God. Blessings from God, we was able to come back better. Cause at first it was like a, it had like a little hole in the wall feel, but with, with some some nice art. And right, right, just, right. You know, like right. <laughs> the next time we came, we got a sofa sections right. and stuff. So, yeah, so it, we got and, a, and, but the crazy with. and the crazy part about it, insurance still jerking us because they're trying to find fault. They trying to blame it everything on the roofing company. Right. So that's a whole nother so story. They, right. they trying to say so, it's them. Yeah, so, so so you know, but So it ain't no insurance. Yeah, it ain't, yeah. It, but, but it's like we, we getting it out the mud, right? Yeah, now. we got it out the mud, so whenever that 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 blessing does come through, hey, that might be a great day. No, it will be might be. It's gonna be a great yeah. day. But you know, for me, all of this stuff, you know, like whatever we try to do. Me and Blake, I think we both on the same page. Yeah, of course we want to make make bread of and, and be a businessman. But at the end of the day, it's really at the for the culture. I remember going to Xavier, and I remember out of town students being like, "Man, this city whack. It don't have nothing to do here." I heard the you same thing. LA, yeah, you go to LA, they got something to do every day. New York got something to do every day. You know, on a, but now if you look at it like, if you really take our culture into consideration, I mean. Tuesday, we got that locked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't say they don't have. They got so it ain't no, 300 right. people out here riding bikes that look like you just on some chill stuff. No incidents, knock on wood, for four years. Right. You feel me? If you want to do something, we used to do RB night at Bar Culture. That was a nice little thing for people to do. It's giving options. You know what right. I'm saying? You come smoke your hookah, you can chill. You can see people that's like you, vibe out with people that's like you, hear type of music that necessarily i i mean they wasn't really even playing certain music i feel like until we opened this venue because we wanted djs to feel comfortable playing what you want to play right. you ain't gotta bounce it out you don't have to just lot. play nola a new orleans music you could run a a hip-hop set mm. for 30 minutes and people not trip because they vibing and that's and that's and that and that's major and i feel like you know like you said bring it back to one of one of my knocks on on my city, even coming up, like when I was in college, you and old Dylan, I um I felt like it was no separation from, like, it was all right for me because I'm from here, but my partners who came and go to school from other places, yeah. it's like yeah, I could take y'all to have fun, but something might happen to you when we go, and. Or you felt like everybody party with everybody party with everybody. It, it was no separation, and to a certain extent, that's still the case. But I do like how y'all have kind of, um, you know, branched off a little bit and and stayed away from them incidents. Man, that's that's big. That's big staying away because well, yeah. because it's so easy to happen to you in New Orleans right. like that. Like that, it could go left. So he was expecting it, and and, and and you was ready for it, and like. My head on a swivel because it's good to have situations where you don't have to have your head on a swivel. Right. And you know what it is? Is because me and Blake, 
it's it's a blessing because me and him can vibe. We don't have to worry about egos. He he have his own, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, I right. have my own thing. We all, you know, we I get along with his partners. Right. We partners now. You right, know, right, family. right, right. So it's like, and because we solid dudes, people going to look out for us. So they'll even be like, man, we're not going to do that out here. We'll do it. You I, know what I'm saying? Like, we're not going to do that I, I out here. I feel like that we about can, you. We can even go talk to uh, uh, some goonies and right. be like, yo, like, nah. Not, not right now. They'll respect us yeah. enough. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wouldn't and that's just hit that respect. Solid. Yeah, that's, that's just, just being, being solid, solid and, and doing good business and just, you know, like carrying ourselves like 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 men. Right. And that's major. That that that's major. Being able to to actually touch the streets and and, and, and having those relationships where it'd be like, I mean, I know I know what y'all got going on, but this ain't the time or the place. Yeah. And then getting that equal respect. And I mean, I guess that some of that respect probably come from my dog being one of the one of the best rappers in the city. But I don't even know if you still rap, dog. <laughs> you still a rapper, dog? Uh, I mean, that name, you know, when somebody asks me that, it make me want to say no. You know what I right. mean? Just because everything that come with being a rapper, you know. But to answer your question, yeah, you know, I'm still I'm still at it. You know, it's it's different though. You know, it's not like before when I was, you know, trying to hit a home run with everything. Right, right, right. You know, I was just, you know, just, it, it, it's, a, it's a it's a different, it's a maturity. It's um, getting back to, okay, it's getting back to, like, Introduce. the true love of music. You right. know what I'm saying? Because when you're young and you're doing music, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a chase. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. It's like a stop clock and you got to do everything as soon as possible, as big as possible. And you could get lost in that. You know what I'm saying? You get really lost in trying to be better or more successful than the next person that do what you do. Right. You know, and that's where a lot of people get envious and jealous and, and hate because, you know, they comparing themselves with you. So they see you on a certain level and they not there. They feel like they should be there. And, you know, it just builds in, in, in and a snowball success effect. success breeds envy. Yeah. So but, where I'm at now is, you know, I found different ways to get my money. Yeah. I see different avenues I could get my money. And when you take the money out of music and any art, the art comes back out. You know, it's not like a, you know, like, I got to do this, I got to do that. Now you're doing what you love, and that's why you're doing it. Mm -hmm. And whatever happens, happens. You know I what I'm saying? I ain't doing it for a check. I, mean, I ain't doing, I'm doing it, it for... I'm doing it because that's what I wanted to I do today. I found my money. I right. found ways to get my money. I ain't going to say I found it, but I found ways to get my money. So now I could get back to that high school feel of making music because I love to do it. And whatever happened, happened. You know, you know, I don't want to play by the industry rules or try and make I need a radio hit or I need a... Now, I'm going to make what I make. And I'm going to put it out, and it's going to do what it do. And I'm good with that. You know what I'm saying? And that's when your I feel that's like what I wanted to put out. That's when your best shit is made. You know, I feel like the mistake artists make, they go trying to make a particular song for what's popping right now or trying to get a, on the radio or whatever. And it's like when you die and you gone, all you got is the music you left. What you want right. to leave? The right. song you was trying to make because that was hot at the moment? Or you want to make some timeless shit that niggas going to actually play after you gone. And and I'm glad you brought that up, dog. And, you know, because it's real. First off, it's real. Second off, that's a that's an issue that I kind of been going back and forth in my mind as far as, as, far as our podcast. Like, like, how do I find a way to, to, to monetize our podcast and make it popping for everyone? Without selling out, like yeah. without doing clown shit. Hey, like I don't want to talk about, I don't want to talk about the clown shit. Yeah, but you know the clown shit. The clown gonna get shit certain, gonna get yeah, them yeah. clicks. Yeah, them clown shit gonna get them views. The clown it's shit just, gonna get the clicks. It's all about temporary and long term success. You want to do the clown shit? You gonna get temporary views, right. temporary hits, temporary right. shit. And then when it change, we done with you. And we done with you. But if you go down long no route. You gonna build, you gonna build your core, right. and they not going anywhere. You know, we was talking about just last night with the whole Khaled situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. DJ Khaled dropped his 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 disc, and I, I seen I read somewhere where he was mad because he wasn't one on number he one was number on one the billboard, billboard right? Because he had all them features and all this. 
But who was number one? Tyler the Creator. Right. What's his single right now? Nobody knows. But I, he well, got I ain't gonna say nobody knows because somebody, somebody knows. Know. But I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it. we don't know. Right. But he he got that core following that's gonna follow him. They are gonna come to his shows. They are gonna buy his merch. They are gonna and tell. They gonna bring a friend. Right. You know what I'm mm-hmm. I think I found my niche. So lately, I just been. You know, my thing is I always come out, disappear, come out, disappear. That's right. my greatest right. knock. You know, whether it be something else I'm into, something else going on, like I can't, I just can't stick with it. Focus. On so it, multiple avenues. So lately, I just been recording music and content, piling it up. And uh, so when I when I come back out real tough, I have shit piled up so I could just keep hitting them with it. Keep. But uh, but yeah, I'm still I'm still <laughs> I'm still that nigga. Like, I mean, that, you know what that's what saying? I think. Like, I mean, shit, we we saw that from the just from the fucking. Just from the cipher and 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 just everything I know, I I know the 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 talent ain't going nowhere. Like shit, that's that's just what it is. So when you brought up the fact that you know the niggas looking because because you coming with it, we all, I mean that that's just what it is. As far as I'm concerned, you definitely one of the best in the city, no doubt. Like I just gotta I just gotta do what I know I could do at the end of the day. And I, if there's any frustration in music, it's that. It's waking up knowing what I can do and it not being out. You right, know right, what I mean? Right. Like I can't walk around and feel like this person need to hold me to a certain light because of what I know I can make. Mm-hmm. The last thing he heard is his last opinion on me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what's out? You know what I mean? So I gotta really just package it. It's about that rebrand, you know, finding your lane, getting comfortable, and I feel like that's what I had to do in the last year, just kind of like really sit back and put it together, you know, like with the bikes, you know, like I'm, I want to do some stuff like Wayne attempted to do with the skateboard. Right, right. You know with, what I'm saying? Skate park, it's it's right. finding that niche, that that lane, and, and owning it. You and know what and I'm that's saying? me. <clears throat> yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, I mean, I don't want to keep y'all boys here all day. I know, shit, it's a, it's a lot of things up and coming. What y'all got going? This is just a big week, big weekend in the city, man. What y'all, um, what do people need to be? We're going we gonna to put this out. We're going to put this out so ain't everybody coming into the city, shit. Essence, is it's a, it's a huge week weekend for the city. What y'all got going on, man? What they need to know about? Well, we got the bike rides, uh... The yeah. bike tours. We well, actually we have a ride on the fourth. Right. <clears throat> on the fourth. On the fourth. Right. Of July. Yeah. July. All it's not up. really a fourth of July ride. Yeah. We're not rolling with that. Right. Yeah. That is that Thursday. Everybody off. So we're doing that. And then we also had an Essence Festival bike tours. Yeah. Friday and Saturday going on. Okay. And then Sunday at Culture Park, we have a day party from three to eight. Three to eight. Crawfish, Spike will be out there. Real crawfish, real crawfish. New Orleans crawfish, New Orleans mm-hmm. crawfish. Wherever yeah. y'all from, that ain't, next, oh. that ain't that ain't that's that's close. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that ain't crawfish. Remember we were talking you about that put the seasoning yeah, on it after. Yeah. yeah, none of that. That's wild. We were talking about that duplication earlier. <laughs> <laughs> this is the original, authentic <laughs> New Orleans crawfish. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Go ahead, go yeah, ahead. Uh, we're gonna have frozen margaritas out. You know, food trucks. Vendors, y'all coming out there too, right? Definitely, definitely. We in a building. We uh, we we'll have a little um, little banner, little little you know, support supporting y'all first off, but still also letting people know that we uh we up and coming, letting the city get to get to know us, get to love us, those who don't know, and um also branching out. It's, I mean, we we want to take it, we want. It started in New Orleans, but of course we want to make it bigger and better. So we gonna capitalize on some of them folks coming in from out of town, um, that I, that never heard of us, um, and shit. See where it go, man. I mean, no, nope. I, got, I got an idea for you off the top of the head. What's that? Come on with it. It's talking about the podcast. Y'all ever think about doing a podcast with? Somebody else who does podcasts, like a joint podcast. Yeah. Yes, but uh, we haven't done it yet. Okay. Because when you say something just now, it, it's so many people who who have nice podcasts going, right. and they don't know of each other. When they don't, you know and that's saying? true. That's true. So yeah, I mean that those thoughts have came, and we have um, thrown them around, and we're not opposed to it. I mean, we're definitely not opposed to it. I, I just wanted to be, you know, somebody on the same on the same wave. Not yeah. 
not even the same wave as if we talk about the same things, but just on some, you know, positivity, fun, like, you know, like somebody who ain't gonna feel like we stepping on their toe, they stepping right, on right, our right. toe. You know, just a, a yeah, genuine, yeah, a genuine collab. Organically, right. yeah. that's that's the thing. That's the thing. But yes, I mean, I, I I am, I am definitely interested in that. I mean, I I also, you know, we we in a process right now of kind of brainstorming on how to to make things bigger and better. That's that we got a meeting about that coming up, and we we. You know, we we new to it, yeah. so we trying to trying to find our lane. But you know, it's hard to. We kind of just started it. We yeah. kind of just did it. Like we are gonna do it and, and find our lane yeah. as we go. So sometimes you gotta take a step back and say, all right, we did it that way. Now how can we incorporate? We ain't gonna lose who we are, of course, but we gonna add bigger and better things, which is you know part of the reason why we are gonna be out there for essence, as to say, um, you know, this is who we are. Just just subscribe. Just check us out. I mean, being that it's authentic, New Orleans, like, people going to love that off, off right. just like the crawfish. Like, right. shit. Yeah. They used to, like I said, even in Houston, man, they putting, they putting seasoning on top of the crawfish. I'm like, what? <laughs> I ain't no, I, what are you doing? <laughs> but, you know, that's what they do. Uh, yeah, man, so I know, uh, and I didn't, I didn't bring up. I didn't even bring up you being a chef, dog. Man, <laughs> let, me, let me explain. At the drop of a dime, my dog just a chef. Let me explain. So I ain't no chef. I'm a uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a survivor. Oh, right? well, In shit. the kitchen, I survive. <laughs> but I um uh, I am real, you know, like aware of what I eat and don't eat, you mm. know. And I've been on the last few years. I didn't. I'm cut so a lot unaware. of stuff out. Yeah, you got up, man. Look, I'm so unaware. The information there. You know what I mean? So. The more I got into it, the more the idea hit me one day because I used to try and get my partners to uh, change their diet, and I noticed it was stop. It way it would end that is even if a nigga tried, sooner or later they either get bored with the rotation of health healthy food, right, right, you know, or something, or you got all this other shit around you, you gonna eat. So I'm like, man, if people knew about some of the food out here that's good for you that actually tastes good, hmm. they chances of staying on their diet. It'll be a lot great. Right, right. So I'm like, bam, cooking class. And then I happen to just organically bump into my neighbor who's a chef. And a real chef. A real <laughs> chef. And her mama got a garden, Miss Gloria. And they about to open a restaurant later this year. So I pitched the idea to her. We brought it together. She don't know nothing about no social media or none of that. So I'm like, bam, I got you there. Right. Like, I'm going to bring the people. You just get the experience together. And then from there, we just been building it. We just had the second class right. uh, two days ago. And everybody loving it. So now it's all type of stuff going on. We gonna, we just, uh, Ross with the food, Deja Vu Food Pub, mm-hmm, he just mm-hmm. hit me up for the International Food Fest they doing. So we going to be one of the demonstrators. So... You know, it's just one of them things. Once it get in motion, you never know where it's gonna go. Never. You know, but at the end of the day, we just we trying to teach our people most mostly how to eat so they can survive and not be sick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, cause That's I'm sick. Simple. I'm eating all the wrong shit, so I'm probably uh, I probably need to pay more attention though. Yeah, but but fuck, I mean, yeah, you yeah, always you eat a zucchini waffle. Zucchini pancake. 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 Yeah. It's Zuc- actually good. Zucchini. You ate that shit, nigga? Yeah, I, 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 and I, I run away from healthy food. Man. It, was, it, was, <laughs> it was straight, though. It was straight, though. Like, right. it was straight, though. All right, we're going to see. We're going to see. But, um, shit, yeah, man. I mean, I ain't, I ain't even about to go through all of these hashtags on all these Instagram handles because y'all got too many, though. I'm going to let y'all put them out there. Get up and ride. Bar culture sl- underscore. I, it's too many, though. <laughs> Just go ahead on and tell the people where they can find y'all, man. Well, I'm uh, OG Blake Owens. That's my personal page. My food page is you are what you eat underscore NOLA. Um, me and Nick together got Get Up and Ride underscore Nola, and uh, and he got some pages himself. Yeah, we got Culture Park Nola and Bar Culture underscore Nola. So yeah, just you know, that's you find one page, you'll find the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they the all best linked. way to do they it. They all link. They all link. Um, you go to Get Up and Ride, you're gonna see everything, and then it'll it'll lead you where you need to be, man. But uh. I definitely appreciate y'all boys for coming out, man. We're going to try to do some big things this weekend, bring a lot of 
positivity to the city, get people out, have fun, eat some real crawfish, <laughs> drink some margaritas, and fucking, and fucking, and, and, and show y'all how New Orleans get down, man. Welcome to the city, folks. Throw a party downtown, it's your time. Time is with us. We gon' make it work, and we gon' show.